So what he's, he's got to do, if he does sub someone, he's got to try and make it effective. Like he's put Contreras. Before Branko sending off. Here they come through again. Chile dreadfully exposed, and Toledo. After just six minutes. And uh, looking to try and get a second, taking a deflection. And it's gone out for a corner. Number seven of the match. Successfully on both occasions. It's a bit of uh, uncharacteristically weak defending from Chile, and he's just opened them up, and the goalkeeper, Toledo, has to make the save at the end of it, and that really showed that even the side of Venezuela's capabilities... He played a charm life, but also played very well. Don't discount him in his moment of glory. As Peru come forward in search of a second, and this would really be the story, and this time it was... Toledo had to make the save after... Clustering in midfield and then opening it out, using the pace much better than he did in that opening game. And there's Muller! Well taken though by Toledo. So, Chile 3, Peru 2. Oh, there's an opening here! Could this be 3 each? And Toledo getting himself in a real mess. Away come Paraguay, very dangerous on the break, especially with uh, one of their danger man, Gonzalez, Gabriel Gonzalez. And away goes the man of matters. It's uh, only half cleared. Cabanas. Espinosa, corner for Chile, away from Ruggeri, not back in from Pizarro. Ball holds up again, and now the chance is on. Simeone has made a dash forward, Medina Bejo, it was going through the middle. And the wall's protecting the opposite side of the goal. Knocked in and out again. And the break could be on this time. Here's a dangerous ball for Uzuriaga, and this time it's Toledo's reactions at the other end, which were brought in to focus, oh. teasing the Paraguayan defence. Oh, here's Nefer. Well, Toledo with a deliberate handball outside his penalty area. Now, what's the referee going to do here? It's Toledo's 29th birthday today. And he's... A great. Book. Quarter of an hour to go, and it's Chile 2, Venezuela 0. And Venezuela really on a dash out here. Oh, and if he'd have continued his run, it looked to me as though he'd got a good chance of a shot on goal. I couldn't understand the thinking of the set. Muller might have slightly embellished the fall, but I think, uh, nevertheless, it was a penalty eventually. Here he comes, Polina. That's the equaliser. took a dive anyway drama here in Cuenca it's a penalty and score 1-0 to Peru from the penalty spot just joined us just started the second half of Chile against Peru Peru in possession a goal behind clever little pass here Yanez Ooh, that could have been very very dangerous indeed he made a great well, he has become the best goal scorer in midfield player in this country. Here we look now at uh, one of those Argentine uh, midfield players who's making a good run forward. That was Medina Bejo, and the goalkeeper, he's lost it. It squirted from his grasp, and that's exactly the sort of drama we're going to witness here this evening. And there were two Chileans who got back there to uh, have a play. Bit of unsure handy. Now Muller gets the break. Wonderful chance for the Brazilians. Oh, he passed the butt. Oh, they're almost passing out of the mines with that. Well, Medina Total. Bejo and Margas got that all together wrong. And Medina Bejo has got past him. Here's a great chance if he cuts it back well this time. And here's it. Oh, Batistuta directs his header straight back into the welcoming hands of Toledo. Here goes Yanez. 
solid work by Perea, tall central defender, six feet two, and he's solid as well. A fortunate break there for Azuriaga, and he goes on like a sprinter into the penalty area. Good ball in, excellent save as well. Iguaran coming in, side-footed the shot. Toledo down in a flash to it, and that's a good stop. It's not going to be easy for anybody to strike a ball, even a dead ball like this, because that, that leather must be weighing a ton already. Well, I've got to say, this the modern ball because of the... <laughs> Getting into a cluster there, but remaining very cool, Antonio Carlos. This is better play by Brazil. Beautiful ball right inside. Must be a second goal. No! Toledo has had a marvelous start to this. Now Sierra going to Zambrano and Zamorano and really wondering why neither of them were following up. Because there's always a chance, especially when the ball takes such a flyer, that the keeper will have to parry. And you almost felt there was a chance from the penalty when he'd missed it. And Peru come forward again, great save! That is a wonderful bit of goalkeeping from Toledo. Looking for that one-two, where's the speed? Roberto gets it. Oh, Roberto, beautiful stuff. Puts it back, there's a shot, it goes a deflection. And again, a so brilliantly saved. Toledo. And at least three efforts to put it in the back of the net, but I think the last... The game's getting stretched a little bit now, Gary. The old cliche, end to end. That happens when there's a lot of space between the two back lines. That's a splendid ball through it. Luis Henrique, they appeal for the penalty. Renato tries to force it in. Henrique again. Oh, Toledo saves with his thighs. Well, uh... with Lucas A. So, Este. Quillen breaks it all up in midfield. Surely an offside flag. Oh, what a splendid save by Toledo. Arguably the best save of the competition so far. He's an outstanding goalkeeper, Gary. I mean, he, he looked tight on offside. The, the referees let it go because the linesmen let it go. The, the, the fellow gets a foot to it and it like he flops it up to the back post. Yanez with the corner. Flicked on. Away by Garrido, the sweeper. Rodriguez, surely an offside, the referee waves play on, and in the end, Toledo saves Chile. What a crazy end to the first half. Again, Rodriguez forcing his way forward, and Toledo with another splendid stop. Oh, well, I mean, they're getting themselves in a mess at the back, they're coming out, and they're not coming out together, trying to... Margas swings the right boot rather hopefully and the Argentine defence will cope with that sort of pass all night now they look to cope against Kenijia he's got the blistering pace he's got the skills there's a good run he uh, might have kept his head down he's given Batistu to the chance and an excellent stop by Toledo that for me is the moment of the match that's a super save I mean, here Showing again, now involving Yanez. We're not looking at it at the moment. We're seeing again this great stop from the goalkeeper. Watch this for a reaction save. That's excellent work by... He certainly played for that free kick, Gary. But he got it and uh, they swept it wide to the right very quickly. Luis Henrique. Good run by Cafu. Nice centre. Oh, brilliant save by Toledo. By... Only a fingertip to deny Mazzino his second goal of the game. That was an outstanding stop. I can't believe that one hasn't gone in.